from medieval towns that struggled with life to modern glass structures for the arts, from bustling and vivacious cities to fertile rural farms, from the utilitarian structures to the ornate stage at Tivoli, there is so much more to Denmark. You know what's better than going to a museum? Going to a different country. I just went to Denmark. The scenes behind you are scenes from Denmark. Copenhagen, Jutland, Aarhus, which I will, I will at some point be able to pronounce properly. And Denmark, it's a fascinating country. It is a great country. It is a tiny country. See? And I've been there. All right, so I'm in, I'm in the city square of Copenhagen. The only reason I'm showing myself is that you know that I've come to Copenhagen in Denmark. And I don't really want to show you a lot of pictures of me with Copenhagen behind me like some other people do. And I don't want to just, and you just need to know, you need to know I'm here. Otherwise, why would you believe me? I mean, we can suspend our disbelief on everything, but at least I want to be truthful that I have been to Denmark and to Copenhagen. Denmark is made up of a bunch of, of islands, some bigger, some smaller, that pundits have said looks like a china plate that has been dropped and shattered on the floor. See, it really is like a little shards of land. And no matter where you are in the country, you're always within 50 miles of the sea. So they fish, but they also farm, and they have amazing meat products. Talk about surf and turf. And the Danish people like living in a society that is a society. They have very good government services. They have essentially free health care. And they have a very good work-life balance. They like to have fun. It's one of the happiest countries in the world. And they also like each other. Which means they have a cozy society, or as they like to call it, Huga. I'll probably have to learn to pronounce that too. And it's a fascinating culture. It's varied, it's interesting, they've got great food. And how was I to know that Denmark, the Danish people, has influenced so many other cultures around the world? You can thank that to the Vikings. Denmark's a great country. In case you didn't know, they have Tivoli, the great amusement park. They basically invented the amusement park, which spawned Disneyland and all its copies. And to balance all that happiness, they also had Soren Kierkegaard, the existentialist, who got a bad rap, and we'll talk about him later. And of course, Hans Christian Andersen. I like Hans Christian Andersen. He's translated into over 160 different languages. And let's not forget The Little Mermaid, the iconic statue of The Little Mermaid. And also, there's Danish design, simple and clean. And these are just details in the collective consciousness of the world. The Danes have been one of the most influential cultures on the world. Why? Because of the Vikings. The Vikings went down and marauded pretty much everywhere. They set up settlements in England, Ireland, France, after, of course, they sacked the city of Paris. They then went off and took over Normandy, which they then took over England. And then influenced all of France. Not only that, they served as guards in Constantinople and pretty much set up Russia when they went down the Volga. And, who's, and who knew that the Vikings had influenced all these cultures around the globe? Denmark. I mean, you can tell that I'm quite taken by Denmark. So you're probably going to see it again as I hope to see it again. Thank you kindly.